Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine a correlation coefficient for the one sample Will Coxon signed rank test as an effect size measure. Um, this correlation coefficient, I think the first time I saw the formula was in a book from Rosenthal, so I'll call it the Rosenthal correlation coefficient. Um, it's the Z value divided over the square root of the sample size. Uh, unfortunately, SPSS doesn't have a direct way of calculating this, but it does have a way to uh, get that Z value fairly uh, quickly and the sample size. So what we can do is analyze. Uh, first off, by the way, this is the example file that I'm using, uh, and I'm going to be using Accounting Scientific, uh, which ranged uh, basically from 1 to uh, 4. So I'm going to use 2.5 in the middle as my hypothesized median. Um, I have a separate video on the one, one sample Will Coxon test, so I'm not going to talk too much about all that. Uh, but analyze non parametric test and then one sample because we'll need to do that test again just to get that Z value and the sample size. Go to fields um, and then move all the test fields to the left. I'm not sure why SPSS keeps on putting them all of them in there. Uh, the variable of interest moves to the right then as the only one. Then go to settings, select customize tests and compare median to hypothesized value. Uh, I'm using a comma system, so I'm using two comma five, um, but you might be using a decimal system. So check by just hitting tab so that it moves to the next one and see if it stays in there. Then hit a run. And here are the values that we need. Notice that here it does say hypothetical median is 3, but if you look at the line it's actually put at the 2.5. So that's all correct. The value of interest is the standardized test statistic and the sample size used in the test is 954. Alright, so I'm going to put this a little bit to the side for now. Um, go here and in my data and press Ctrl N for a new data file. And this new data file is going to have two variables, uh, that n and the z value. And I can get those from the output from earlier on. Double click if you want and right click on the value that you need. You can say then copy. I go back to my uh, data file, the new one. Go for n, right click, paste and go back to the output. Uh, the pivot table, I actually have it up here. And then the Z value, right click, uh, copy. And then right click here and paste. So uh, as you can see, it's 11.932. Uh, I'm not sure if there were any more decimals to be found. Um, if you double click, you would get more decimals. So I can then do a control C and then a control V to get slightly more decimals. Um, now for that correlation coefficient, uh, it can be quickly calculated using uh, sorry, transform, then compute variable. And I'm going to call it R. And we need the square root function. Uh, let me check. Here's the square root. Um, First of all, it's the Z value, sorry, so I double click on Z and then divide it by and then that square root uh, SQRT, double click and it's the square root of N and click on OK and I should get now in my output the correlation coefficient and that's it. Right, um, hope in the future that SPSS actually um, adds an option to calculate this or add it directly, but for now this will do. Uh, hope it was helpful and thank you for watching.